Jeza and what well, Shama. Okay, so the Guan people or the Guani are the descendants of what Naphtali. They are the descendants of Naphtali. Very very important. Very very important for us to hear. Again, so Guan or Guani, the name or those people are the Hebrews. They are Hebrews too. Like their names and tells us now that they are Hebrews and they are the descendants of. Um, Naphtali. So we have the Gaba, uh, Gaba people, descendants of um, Benjamin, and we have Guan, Guani, Guani people like Guan, descendants of Naphtali, and we have the Lamba, descendant of of Aaron. Very very important. So uh, to me, I think it's a big deal that we have all this name flowing around Africa. Very very important. Um, and without going to the word of God, we will see all this. We will not see all this. Okay, so the Guam, we have the book of, I mean, we can go to the book of Numbers. Let's do Numbers. Numbers chapter 20, 26. Numbers chapter 26. Numbers 26, 48. Numbers 26. And it says, of the sons of Naphtali, after their fa uh, family of uh, Jetha, the family of Jetha, the family of uh, Jetha, of the Guan, the family of uh, Guata. So, okay, like the Tars and all that. Uh, that means these are the people the, the T H S um, T E S that means do, these are the people like T we have like those things like those names or T E too in like the names or the tribe in West Africa too so this confirm that the Guan people they are these people so maybe the Guani you will see the Guani but without the T E S so it's, the Bible is telling you these are the people. Again, they are the descendants of what? Naphtali to confirm. And we I have more one one more reading. Then we'll go to the next one. Let's do first Chronicles chapter seven. First Chronicles chapter seven. First Chronicles chapter seven. Chronicles chapter 7, 13, 7, 13, 7, 13. Okay. It's a, and, um, 7, 13. The sons of um, Naphtali, Jaza and Guan, Guani, and Jezel and what? Shama, the sons are sons of Belha. Be Belha, those are the descendants of what? Naphtali. So, the name, the rest of the uh, the names of all the children of Naphtali, I haven't found it yet. But like we are basing only the Guani, so I will stick to that Guani. They are the design or Guafu. They are the descendants of Naphtali. Very very important. Um, I will take a minute break. Then when we come, then we will continue.
we have ba okay we have the baule we have the uh ak i hope i'm pronouncing it right and where we have the ani and anin there's no ani but ani and we have the ashan asanti no ashanti but as asanti and we have the awini awini uh, again if you are from that area or you you are from one of this area just forgive me that i'm trying to mess your your city or your, your your town uh, up but forgive me okay so these are the akan group in africos so when we come to ghana ghana we have the um ashanti they call ashanti or asanti i can i can okay but in ghana it have like a little different like if ashanti you have a conversation with ashanti and speaking they have their language they will tell why you can't speak uh ashanti or asanti well they won't tell you why you don't speak tree which is the broad language but they will ask you why you don't speak the ashanti well so that means um they have their own language so it's the same tree but they have their own language and we have the Akan people, we have the Fantis. So the Fantis, we call them Akan. And we have the, um, I think, uh, Achims. Achim, yeah. We have the Achim, we call them Akan. And we have, um, I think, Kwa, we have called them Akans. And we have the um, Equiapim tree, we call them Akans. And we have the um, Brom. We call them Akans. We have, I think, Sefi. Um, we call them Akans. It's a whole lot, but just if I, I don't mention, just uh, pardon me. And we have the um, uh, Asin. I think we have the Asin. We call them, they are all Akans. So Akan, maybe in the, even the Avril Coast one, I couldn't um, mention or again forgive me so ghana that one too we have called them akans um and which one again i think i'm done with the the akan um in ghana so both the uh akan in ghana and akan in um Africa, coast they are all from the, the the tribe of judah as we read in the, the book of joshua chapter 7 1 tells us clearly they are the descendants of judah judah being a uh, the son of Jacob, the fourth son of Jacob. Very, very important. Okay. So, now let's go to Ashanti or Asanti. Very, very important. Um, in English, I think it's a, a English is a, a Ashanti, but the, uh, their language or the, the pronunciation is uh, Asanti. So, on the top of the map, we can see with the number two, the, the one I wrote number two, have like the Ashanti, the kingdom of Ashanti or Inta. So I'm here to say that Inta is I N T A. I'm here to say that, that, that maybe three have the, the different pronunciation. So you just pardon me. I'm here to find that one now. This Ashanti or Ashanti people are the Levites, the priests. They are the descendants of Aaron. So the first map that we show like with the uh, great zimbabwe then this ashan people i call them family why because they are from the same father same father very very important i know um i've heard people say like they are judah yeah uh, god gave them through moses the, moses the instructions that indeed they have to what um the priests or the levites or the descendants of aaron that they don't have to own the land they don't own the land but they dwell in the in the land like area cities from the north up to the south they have to dwell in the cities because of all the work or the priest um works that they have to do and before i go on something funny happened i quite remember a couple of years i went to africa and i met a lady and she was asking me um uh, mom so are you trying to tell me like she was wondering why are the priests or pastors that she'll come across when you ask them they say they are from kumasi or ashanti so god doesn't call any tribe except <laughs> the ashanti people and i said i don't know it's just a joke but 
she 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 is serious to ask um those uh that question very very important okay so the ashanti or the ashanti are the levites the priests the descendants of aaron very very important okay so let's see something let's go to first chronicles chapter six Chronicles chapter 6. I bet you today I can't open my Bible for nothing. First Chronicles chapter 6. Okay, First Chronicles chapter 6. 54 through 59. 54 through 59. And 54 through 59. Now, these are their dwelling place throughout their um, coastal in their coast like their territory of the sons of Aaron of the family of the Kohen Kohenta Kohen but the word Kohen um, it's like uh, in God they say like Oko but like the mini Kohen like the, the high priest or the priest so that's the reason why they have the Kohen there very very important of their Cohen for there was a lot okay so like they have to share the land there was a lot 55 and and they gave them Hebron in the land of Judah again so when one said um, the Ashanti or um, the Ashanti are the uh, Judean eh, it's not wrong but at the same time will go um, by what the word of God said. The Bible is saying, Judah, and what? They are Savannah, therefore, around, around about it. But the third of the city, the third of the city, I remember earlier when I said that they don't own a land, and the third of the city and the villages thereof, they gave it to, they gave, they gave to um, Caleb, the son of uh, Jephum. Okay, so 57. And the son of Aaron, and the sons of Aaron, they gave the city of Judah, again repeating, namely Hebron, the city of refuge. And so the name, uh, the first map that came, the uh, Lemba that I said, so here, is the Lemba sound like a town, where a city or a village. It's a Lemba with, it's a sub hair subordinate. Um, and um, and Japheth and Etm Etmos with her servant then 20, um, 58 then Helen with her servant then we go to Deba with her servant then 59 the main, main, the main thing it said and Ashan, Ashan it's not Ashanti it's Ashan with her servant like the, the, her area so ti people argue that the ti is the uh, ben city and the ti is uh say with well, the most important is the same thing but as we read earlier i think the the, the um guni we realize that they have the ti so it's like the people of this like the people of um us the people of canada the people of Germany, the people of africa so i think that's the reason why they have the ti so here, uh, First Chronicles chapter. First Chronicles chapter. Okay, sorry, six fifty four through fifty nine. Tell us clearly that indeed the children of um, Ashanti or Asanti are the priests. The, uh, they are the descendants of Aaron. They are the head. <laughs> Amen. Very very important to me. I find this so interesting. Okay. So, why do one have to hear this? Very, very important that you have to know who we are. This is just a beginning, or this, this is just something that, like, I'm, uh, we brought this, I brought this today or from last week for us to refresh our memory, just, uh, just a beginning. We will broaden, we will go deeper.
to their 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 culture or their 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 tradition the way they act different area we will see different thing. and that will make sense and those puzzles will, will fit i quite remember the beginning um that we started this program i was saying that i don't want to rush and jump to oh, this strap and this strap this strap. we have to start from the beginning we have to try start from genesis as our forefather journey from um jacob journey from genesis to um from canaan which is genesis and went to egypt so we did that we did we, we did so many we did um the descendants or i mean the children of judah we did J uh, joseph i mean a whole lot moses we did miriam and that help for you to understand more proof or to show that indeed the children of israel are black as time goes on we would do like the way our forefather gen like they have the journey from like israel to africa very important i, I wrote some article i think the 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 tribe of uh, Igbo, they were saying that one particular person wrote something that those the Igbo people journey from the um, North Africa to the Igbo land or Nigeria. They, it took them uh, 80 years because they, they, it wasn't like you have a car. They walk. It took them 80 years on that word and it's very, very important. So again, um, I thank God so much. I was rushing but because we have to cover a lot that indeed we, are, we we know what's going on the the um tribe of lemba in west uh, south africa the great zimbabwe they are the descendants of aaron then we have the ashanti so again the same um, names we have the ashanti people are santi people they are the descendants of aaron the priest very important then we have the akans the akan group uh in tooth coast or ivory coast or gold coast ghana they are um the descendants of judah they from the, the the tribe of judah very important and we have the Ga gabi get the gabi people too are the descendants of benjamin then we have the guani or guafo they are the descendants of naphtali then we have the adangbe dangbe they are the descendants of dan then we have the uh Ga, Ga, which is the capital they are the descendants of god very important um i left Again, I left the Judah alone. Who will do that another time? Because I don't want to rush and put everything in it. That won't like, sound right or that won't look right. Very important. So our time is up. God richly bless you. Um, again, if you are watching from Facebook, YouTube, or radio, God richly bless you so much. See you next week. Bye-bye. We'll